Hello, welcome back. So this is chapter two, as I mentioned in chapter one. I am recording this back in November, obviously, and you are seeing this later. So by the time you are seeing this, the game plan is to have this book published at the end of January. You're seeing this at the beginning of January. But I've decided that it's kind of not as fun to be building all of this hype for a book that you can't actually buy yet, or even remotely in the future. So I'm kind of doing this system. I like it. But anyways, here's chapter two. So writing chapter two, I have taken a few days off. I've realized that I would prefer to write on weekdays and have weekends off from writing. It just ends up not happening. We're always busy doing other projects. Household things do actually need to take their own time. So because of that, I've set out to try to write about two chapters a day. Now being able to do this full time has required me to actually take this seriously and do it full time. So for some people, writing two chapters a day might seem a little bit much. For me, that roughly equates to about six pages a day. For some people, that's way too much, which is fair. And of course, each chapter is going to have its own flow of things. But today I spent the early part of the day working on my channels and uploads and editing and then this afternoon is when I'm spending my time writing and this seems to be working pretty well. So for chapter two, this is when I realized that like I don't have an outline but I don't know that I'm mad about it. So what I'm trying to do is to have each chapter have a purpose. Now, initially I was thinking about having each chapter kind of be like an episode, <laughs> like in Last Airbender series, where he has like a specific task he's doing in that episode, but it's also related to the overall story. I don't know that I'm going to continue exactly with that, but pretty much that there's going to be like a specific point for each chapter. And again, this sounds really silly, but I just need to find a system that's going to work of how to make each chapter have a purpose and a meaning and a way that in the future I can start to kind of replicate and get my own system. Every author has a system. Whether they talk about it or not, they find a way that works for them. What qualifies as chapters? What qualifies as plot points? And how do you manage your subplot and your main plots? and like character development and all of this stuff. Every author does it a little differently and it's all just about figuring out what works for you. And so for me right now, I've just realized that I need to have a specific purpose for each chapter. Something has to happen and that's like the central purpose of this chapter. It doesn't have to be a specific scene, but it all revolves around that one topic. So like chapter one is called The Ritual and chapter two is called Stepping Outside. And that's the entire purpose of that chapter. And it sounds silly, but it's really relevant. And I kind of like the idea of that. And so I am just kind of running with that right now. It worked out pretty well for this chapter. I did already run into a wall <laughs> because I either have to find the episode of the show American Horror Story in like the, f I think it's the first season. Isn't Ghost House first season? I kind of quit watching it after I want to say Freak Show? Maybe the one after that, because I did watch The Vampire. Anyways, they, they got to be a lot. <laughs> so anyways, um, I remember in that one in particular though, they talked about this concept, but they're certainly not the only ones who do this, but the idea of where a ghost goes out, or just people in general, they go out one door and they come in a different door like they can't exit. Huh? Get it? Stepping outside. But I can't find that online at all. You try and Google that and Google's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and I'm like, but I need to know what the general way you're supposed to deal with that is and then have my character not do that. <laughs> but I can't find anything. So that was a wall. I didn't know that I couldn't just Google random urban legendy stuffs and just find answers. So that's a pain in the butt. That did derail me a bit because I was like, uh, I don't know. Like, I want my character to figure out a way out of this, but I wanted to put a spin on the, like, traditional way it's supposed to happen, but I can't find it anywhere, so I might just have to figure it out myself. But yeah, so that was kind of a pain in the butt. Like, I'm still gonna try and find that, but that's kind of holding up chapter three now, because I'm like, uh, <laughs> like, this is the the little bump in the road and I don't know how to deal with it. I can't find the information. My word count, as I showed at the beginning of this video, is just a little bit over again. 
I am aiming for each one to at least hit the word count requirements for NaNoWriMo, which is 1,667. I got, I think it was 1,688 or 87 or something like that today. I have it written down, but at least going a little above what it's traditionally supposed to be, so we'll be a little bit ahead. And again, it's only itsy bitsies, but I think it'll work out pretty well if I can maintain that. It'll at least be pretty close to 50k by the time I get to the end of draft one. This is going to have 27 chapters instead of 30. Overall, I think this is going to turn out pretty well. I like the way I'm currently writing this and not having too much of an outline, really. Again, pantsing is just fun and you just are like, so this is where the story's going instead of trying to figure it out beforehand. As much as I love an outline, sometimes it just is, it takes away the fun. I usually just have a vague one that lives in the brain, I don't write it down. And then I just try and keep that as we go along on the crazy adventure of the story. So anyways, that is going to be it for writing chapter two. I would love to hear how yours went if you did NaNoWriMo in 2022, or if you are currently following along and writing your own book. How did your chapter two go this week? Anyways, I wanted to check in, talk about how chapter two is going, and until next time, thank you for coming along on my writing journey, and I will see you all soon.